cut content will always be a sort of forbidden knowledge when it comes to gaming. In films, books, or TV, unless a creator directly talks about their initial idea, you rarely get to learn how they planned the whole thing out and what got scrapped along the way. In the world of video games, however, these delicious secrets are usually tucked away inside the game itself. Nestled away in some unused files for a random person or intentional hacker to stumble upon and then share with the rest of us. I'm Jess from What Culture, and here are eight cut video game levels you won't believe exist. Number eight, Dust Hill, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Four levels were scrapped from the final cut of Sonic the Hedgehog 2 that were at varying stages of completion when they were removed. Of these, Dust Hill is technically the most complete, as fans have created a version of it based on the mock-ups shown of the area. It's not anything you wouldn't have seen somewhere before, as it's just a desert level occasionally interspersed with ice, but it's still interesting, as it's a little bit of extra insight into one of the most iconic and recognizable games of all time. Presumably, this zone, much like the other removed parts, to the game was cut due to time constraints, as nobody was going to lose sleep over there not being a little less time in the desert than previously expected. If you're a dyed in the wool fan of the fastest cartoon animal known to man though, it's still something that's definitely worth seeing, even if that's just so you can see the commitment that some others went to in order to see this cut content still be in some way playable. Number 7. Hattrick Manor – Bully as much as the version of Bully we got is still an undeniably brilliant game, the amount of cut content for it makes it clear that the original plans for it were far, far grander. This is clear by the fact that Hattrick Manor, the home of the school's maths teacher, was initially explorable, likely for either a side quest or otherwise to just allow you to terrorize him, which anyone feeling truly in the role of Jimmy Hopkins would likely jump at the chance to take. Given there are a fair few missions revolving around either doing teacher's whims or carrying out pranks, against them, it's unclear whether this would have featured in the main storyline, or rather as an extra side mission for those who were especially angry about being taught algebra. Interestingly, you can still access the house in-game with only a touch of weird shenanigans. Players are able to travel to the outside of the house, which still exists in-game, and then ramp off some stairs in order to clip into the house. While you're obviously not supposed to, getting in requires a method that's so in-fitting with the rest of the game that it somehow makes perfect sense that you can still get in. Number 6. The City of Such and much more, Oblivion Nobody's gonna say for a single minute that Oblivion didn't contain enough content. Fully completing it takes about 182 hours. Those who've even attempted to try and finish the game have found that it's like trying to drink a river time-consuming, vaguely confusing, and likely to cause an existential crisis before you're even a hundredth done. But there could have been much more as it turns out. Most interestingly, one entire city was cut out of the game, the city of Such. This is especially weird because Such was almost totally finished visually. It just needed quests to make it worth going to. Since it's practically complete, it's naturally been made into a mod by various kind souls, so if you're curious, you can still roam its beautiful streets. Fort Such still exists in Oblivion though, as a testament to the place that never got to be. Number 5. The Topps Casino Sub Basement Fallout New Vegas Fallout is a series that collects cut content like RPG fans collect all the Pokemon currently in existence. With such a huge amount of quests, weapons, collectibles, and more, it's inevitable that plenty of stuff that's initially designed and created has to be cut, for a whole assortment of reasons. The most interesting of all this is that of the Topps Casino and its hidden mysteries. While the sub-basement in this area is supposed to be inaccessible throughout the game, you can actually reach it by having Benny follow you into the presidential suite and then murdering him in there. For unexplained reasons, this glitches out the building's elevator, which then allows you to journey on down. It's especially interesting because it's clear there was some aspect of the main mission that was supposed to initially happen around here. While most wouldn't complain about what we did get in terms of the main storyline, it still makes you wonder what exactly earlier plans may have looked like. Number 4. The Mountain Peak Stardew Valley. Sometimes, in especially unusual circumstances, a level or area from a game will be cut despite the fact that fans had seen it in previously revealed footage and screenshots of the game. This was the exact case for the Mountain Peak area in Stardew Valley, as there were both screenshots of areas that led to the area and the fact that it existed in the game's files, and yet didn't exist when you actually booted it up. Speculation for this is that the area had only been designed for special 
events since Santa could be seen up in this mysterious area during Christmas. The area has since been patched in by several mods developed over the years as it's a nice additional area to the game's map. However, it seems as though the regular version will never make use of it, as if they'd intended to, it likely would have been in the game proper from the first release. Even if you don't want to download these modifications, you can still get there, it just takes a fair bit of time, and a fair bit more fiddling around. Number 3. Various Buses Cuphead. Since boss fights are the vast majority of what makes up Cuphead, it's more than fair to call these battles levels. With this in mind, there's fair few cut levels from the cheery cartoon game, as many planned boss fights were ultimately scrapped to give it the more streamlined version we play today. Firstly, and most preciously, comes Jelly the Octopus, a clown-colored aquatic friend. Given the tentacle on his head turns pink, the cue for parrying things in the game, it's likely safe to believe that this critter was made to show players how to parry, perhaps before it was implemented in the tutorial itself. The rest of these bosses, while still interesting, don't serve the same educational purpose as our dear friend Jelly. They tend to be extra bosses that would have appeared in levels that have several different boss enemies for you to take down, such as the King Dice Battle or the Devil Fight. However, this isn't a solid rule as one of the most finished looking cut bosses is actually for an airship level, which boasts a spider in a suit and bow tie. Whether he was cut to evade any player arachnophobia, we can't say for sure. Number 2. The Emerald Dream, World of Warcraft the Emerald Dream has been a mystery since before the game even came out, with word on the development of the game stating that it may be added as an endgame area or extra bonus content. While some quests require you to enter the Emerald Green, you never properly see it as the actual area is never opened up for you to explore, rather letting you have a tiny taste as a way to spice up some quests a little by reminding you that, at least in lore, this place is a fully defined thing. However, players have found the original designs for the Emerald Dream map, which is apparently the size of Lordarian, which, for anyone who doesn't know what that is, basically means it's huge, given Lordarian is one of the in-game continents. You can even visit it as long as you're willing to get a private server to teleport to it. Strangely, the Emerald Dream might not be cut forever. After all, with the amount of effort that's been put into visualizing this area, it seems impossible that some eventual future update won't contain it, even if it's only a fraction of the one we've glimpsed. Number 1. The part where you kill Cave Johnson, Portal 2 Cut lines from Portal have long been a subject of fan intrigue, ever since the dialogue was found that covered Aperture Science's best personal assistant Caroline being put into the device that would make her a part of GLaDOS, only to be massively misinterpreted at the time. Far more interesting though is a few little lines of dialogue that some brave adventurers found while looking through the game's files. Against all odds, this cut speech suggests that you find Cave Johnson in Portal 2, or rather what remains of him. As the script tells you, the CEO had his consciousness placed inside a companion cube, leaving his entire living consciousness for all eternity inside a machine. Quite fairly, he also states that this has made his life a torture before begging you to then kill him. The script then appears to detail you murdering this former meatbag by unplugging him from the computer that has sustained him. It's really, really sad. As much as Johnson sounds his usual level of excited about seeing the great beyond. It's profoundly interesting to learn all this, but it's also not entirely a bad thing that this one area was removed from the final version of the game. That's the end of our list, but do let me know down in that comment section if you can think of any other cut video game levels that most people don't even know exist. As always, I've been Jess from What Culture. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you like, you can come say hi to me on my Twitter account where I'm at JessMcDonald, but make sure you stay tuned to us here for plenty more gaming goodness.